HD radio is primarily available in the US and Canada and is broadcast on both sides of the analog FM signal. With HD radio, an FM station can send up to four digital audio streams and other data such as a live traffic map and a live weather radar. The best part about all of this is that it's free and receivable without an internet connection. In this video, I'll show you how to install the HD FM app on macOS so you can play back the live digital audio streams and other data right on your Mac using the RTL SDR. First, if you don't have an RTL SDR, you'll need one in order to get this working. You can still create the app ahead of time if you don't have one yet, but just know the app won't work without an RTL SDR and an attached antenna. In order to start building this app on macOS, we'll need to use Homebrew. Using the first link in the description below, scroll down to where it says building on macOS using Homebrew and click on Homebrew. Once the page is loaded, copy the terminal prompt starting with forward slash bin, then open terminal. Terminal can be opened quickly on macOS by pressing command, then the spacebar, and typing in terminal. Once terminal is opened, paste the terminal prompt and click return. If you use your Mac with a login password, you'll have to type it in here. Then press return. Homebrew will start to install. Be patient. Depending on your computer, this could take a while. It may ask for your password again. If so, type it in and press return. Once Homebrew has downloaded, verify that Homebrew is successfully on your Mac by typing in Brew Help in Terminal and click Return. If you receive an error message saying Command Not Found, restart Terminal and try it again. Next, go back to the first link in the description of the video and copy the first terminal prompt underneath Building on macOS using Homebrew, starting with Curl and paste it into Terminal and then click Return. Then, go back and copy the command prompt, starting with brew, paste it into terminal, and click return. NRSC5 will start to install. Be patient, depending on your computer, this could take a while. Once it's finished, you can close out the terminal window and open the second link in the description of the video. Scroll down to where it says Installation macOS. This application has been optimized for Macs with Apple Silicon. If you're using an M series Mac, copy the command prompt under where it says M1. If you're using an Intel based Mac, copy the command prompt under where it says Intel. The Mac that I'm currently using is an Intel Mac, so for the purposes of this video, I'll be copying the Intel prompt. Once it's copied, paste it into Terminal and press Return. It may ask you for your login password if you have one. If so, type it in and press return. Once the HDFM application is on your Mac, you should see X space HDFM show up on terminal. Using the application is very simple. There's no app icon. It's only controlled with terminal. To bring up an HD station, type in HDFM spacebar, the frequency of the FM station, in my case it's 99.9, spacebar, then whatever digital stream you want to access. HD1 will be 1, HD2 will be 2, HD3 will be 3, and HD4 will be 4. How many digital streams are being sent out varies from station to station. For the purposes of this video, I typed in 1, which brings up the HD1 of 99.9, .9, which in my area is CKFM out of Toronto. Once your HD station is typed in, press return. You should then see your HD station pop up within a few seconds seconds. I've muted the audio for copyright reasons. If your station is sending a traffic map, you'll start to see the map trickle in. Also, clicking on weather will display a weather map if your station is sending it. I've noticed that the weather map typically comes in after the traffic map has been downloaded. Both of these maps update every few minutes.
Typically, iHeart radio stations are the ones that broadcast the live traffic map and live weather radar, but where I currently am in Buffalo, there aren't any iHeart radio stations. The only HD stations in my area that are sending a live traffic map and a live weather radar are CKFM in Toronto, Ontario, a Bell station, and WBUF in Buffalo, a Town Square media station. If you maximize the HDFM app's window and connect your Mac to a TV via HDMI, you'll get a really nice looking interface on your TV. This would be really cool to have up during a storm when the internet's out. Keep in mind, HD radio came out in the early 2000s and is relatively old. Although the capabilities of HD radio are great, ATSC 3.0 has the technical ability to send way more data more efficiently when compared to HD radio. If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking the video. Follow Western New York over the air on Instagram at WNY over the air. Like Western New York over the air on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash WNY over the air and check out WNY over the air.com for live band scans, cord cutting tips, and much more.